to another vlog. So um, let's touch up first on a couple of things. Um, I haven't uploaded the past two games. Um, I was at Swindon in the 3-1 defeat and I did go Saturday away to Exeter. Um, I just started up college again and I work as well so throughout the week I literally get no time. I'm balancing both. I'm, I'm working and have college every day and then on the weekends uh, it's my time off so I've been a bit lazy and maybe a little bit selfish as well and uh, have just not really had the motivation or the time to edit and upload so I do apologise about that but obviously as you can see we are back and uh, I am doing another video tonight uh, as we take on crew at home who have got off to a very good start um, but Saturday um, was was a good day um, away to Exeter, top of the league, unbeaten um, only conceded one goal before playing us and um, you know we went 1-0 down against the run of play a little bit although they started to put the pressure on I felt we did well in the first half I felt we looked a lot more organised um, and more solid defensively there was a couple of changes Gorman was in there with um, Marsh and right in the middle and uh, I have to say Marsh was absolutely superb you know he was everywhere he ran the show for us and he looks a real player you can pick a pass which I think is what we've been lacking a little bit and you can see he's got that ability to, to spray the ball and to switch the play um, and to unlock and play a through ball so he looked a class above and he was the man of the match uh, and rightly so for Saturday um, he looked brilliant um, so yeah we won nil down and then we responded very quickly um, Leango equalised literally about four minutes after their, their uh, opener and then at the break it was 1-0 and, and that was you know a decent result for, for us at half time um, and then going into the second half we managed to um, fire ourselves in front not that long into the second half um, for a deflected shot from Louis Dennis who scored his first goal uh, about 20 yards out deflected off their defender has gone in um, past the keeper and then we're in the lead and, and we're playing some really good stuff so um, Exo in the end got a penalty in the 93rd minute with seven minutes of injury time the ref literally he couldn't wait to give them something you could see I even turned to my brother in the like 60 minutes in I just said watch this ref give him a penalty late on because you can you can tell the way the game's going we got about six seven yellow cards um you but you know a point a little bit disheartening afterwards you'd feel a little bit gutted but I was still quite content and satisfied with the point because the performance was good you know against the standard of opposition as well you have to take into consideration that like I mentioned they're unbeaten and I've only conceded one goal and then we've obviously come there took a point and uh, put two past them so it's very encouraging and that leaves us on nicely to today's game um, which you know I feel very optimistic about um, I know Crew sitting fifth and uh, as I mentioned, they've had a very good start to the new campaign themselves. And they'll be coming here um, hoping to bounce back after a 3-2 home defeat uh, to Cambridge on Saturday. And um, massive respect to all the crew fans that are travelling tonight because obviously it's a massive uh, long journey. Um, I've been there, I've done it. Um, we've all done it. We've all done these journeys and, and they're not nice, especially if you don't come away with anything. And... Uh, you know, massive respect to fans like that, that that do that because I, being one myself, I know the commitment and I know how hard it is and I know, you know, work and, and things like that, how they come into play. So massive, massive respect to them um, and I hope they have a safe journey to and from Brisbane Road and uh, have a good time. But hopefully uh, they come away with nothing, um, obviously being a selfish point of view. But um, no, I'm, I'm confident today. I'm, I'm going to predict a 2-1 a win for us um, I feel like we should start the same team as we did on Saturday play the 4-3-3 three, three, but just maybe start Clay over Gorman um, but I wouldn't be that bothered if Gorman started over Clay so you know we'll um, we'll have to wait and see but yeah I'm, I'm optimistic tonight because of Saturday's performance and uh, hopefully we'll uh, pick up three points because uh, we desperately need it we haven't picked up three points in around a month now so Hopefully we will. Um, let's get down to Brisbane Road. Up the O's.
10 men, Ankle's going off with an injury and Wilkinson's about to come on. See him walking literally around the of the pitch. Doesn't look good. Now Wilkinson's about to come on. Possession given away, literally like that. Hesitated, come out. First corner for it. Oh, terrible! Close <laughs> <laughs> through. Mistake by them. Latch on to it. Keep come out. Lovely. Done well to get back on level terms, not long after them down in front, but been a little bit poor. We started the half off really well for 10 15 minutes. We were at them and pressing and looking good, but since Angle come off, uh, the game's gone completely different. So we let them get back in the game, uh, string a few passes together, and then they found uh, a ball that literally went through everybody under Brill's arm and went in the back of the net in the bottom corner. Uh, literally nothing. So. Poor goal to concede, but um, good to get back on the other terms at half time, so hopefully uh, we can go on and win this game because it's definitely there for the taking for either side, but hopefully because we're shooting towards the south stand, we'll be able to, we'll be able to get the first That's it, that's it, that's all you ask. Go on, keep pressing. Oh, that's way too easy. Let's go on, keep him there, look. See, that's what we're forcing to do. That's cool now, the second half. Don't seem to have actually many players in the box. Seems like they're going to run in. Maguire drew safely in there. On. On. Oh! oh. Sean Ling! Ah! Oh. He bottled it! Oh, unlucky. Just give it the old thumbs down. I oh, know. Oh, free kick here. Surprised the rest of the game. This doesn't seem to be giving anything for us. Oh. Fucking hell, ref! Oh. 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 Fuck off! Oh. Where's he gonna go? Come on! Oh, oh that is oh. shit! Shocking! Good start, sir. Gorman or Drew? I'd give it to Gorman because Drew's had a start. No way is that wall 10 yards. Gorman take I would, I would give it to Gorman. He took one on Saturday, to be fair. Did he shoot and go by on Saturday, shot? Come on. Who's gonna get this on the target? Yeah, I think he's going to miss him. Oh! So he's going to punt that, did not he? Drew, you're on side. Get up, Marsh. Well done, Marsh. Well done. Corner! Oh, yeah, another good, another good chance with from a free kick. I mean, this is maybe even a better position. Quiet Drew, simple left this one. This time, not going. It's going to be Dennis. Dennis. That's alright. Corner off and play uh, coming on. Like for like. I don't really understand it, mate. Carried on for Dennis. I don't know why Dennis is going this way. I have no idea. Give him a good old clap. I don't know why. Well done, Louis. Well done, Louis. Well done, Louis. Few minutes left. Corner. Come on, piece of the delivery. Oh! Ah, it's a front. 2-1 crew, literally, as the board's gone up, and they don't smash and break, smash and break. Same. Oh, 
time. Two on the feet. Oh, I mean, I don't like to say this, I really don't, but I'm losing faith in Ross now. I've been one of his biggest believers, and I'm losing faith. So as you can see, I'm now back from the game, and uh, <sighs> very disappointed. Um, yeah, um, you know what's happened at the end, and uh, I'll talk you through the the uh, events of the game. I thought we started off very well, um, as I mentioned at half time. Um, the first 10 15 minutes, we, we were really dominant, you know, uh, quick fire out of the block, and uh, Adam, you know, pressure was good, and the intensity was good, the, the balls um, we were knocking about and switching the play was good, you know, our movement was good. Our link up play was good. We we were frightening them um, on the attack, and we were running them. Um, and you know, we didn't manage to to find a breakthrough goal in that um, in that time period. Um, and then we sort of let them back into the game a little bit. Uh, and as soon as they sort of strung, you know, a few passes together, obviously to get themselves comfortable in in the game, you know, they settled down. Um, and then a little bit of pressure was enough for. For us to um, go behind, um, it was a really weird goal to concede the ball come in from the uh, left hand corner um, flag to me from where I sit and um, a little bit in front of that it sort of whipped in and bent round and uh, I think, I don't know if it touched the car, uh, a crew player on the way in but um, if not it's literally gone for everybody and then underneath Brill um, and snuck in the, the bottom corner. Um, so it's a, it's a really poor, poor, poor goal to concede again. Um, you know, every single week I'm coming on and I'm talking about shocking goals that we've conceded. So, you know, it's really frustrating because, you, you know, you feel like a, uh, like a broken record, you know, just literally on repeat. It's the same thing over and over again. We're making these sloppy errors. We're making awful mistakes. We're not closing players down quickly. You know, we're letting our, our men go at marking and... And uh, we end up falling behind pretty much every single game. Um, and it is really frustrating. Uh, it was good to get level um, before half time. And I felt like, in terms of the, the balance of play, we definitely deserve to, to go into the break on level terms. Um, so I didn't think we actually played that bad in the first half. We, we let it slip a little bit um, after the first 10 15 minutes, especially when Angle went off. The complex of the game changed, you know, the style that we play was 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 different. Um and he you know, he was he was uh, causing them them problems early on in the game and, and he looked like he was frightening them uh, with his pace. Um and obviously he's got quite a lot of ability too, so and then Wilkinson come on and I'll get to him and his performance in a minute. Um but yeah, it changed the dynamics of the game a little bit. Because we had to play a little bit different, um, uh, but you know we deserve to be level at half time. It was a lovely goal taken by Maguire, Drew chips, you know a little dink over the keeper, um, but we latched on a poor mistake from them, and uh, ended up you know getting on level terms. And I, I was pleased with that goal because you know it's normally us that concede goals like that where we make defenses er defensive errors and uh, teams latch onto it and they'll get a goal from us, but. You know, we took advantage of that um, in the opposition tonight, but obviously in the end it counted for nothing. So <sighs> it doesn't really mean anything. But you know, half time one all, it was all right. You know, feeling optimistic and confident that we could go on and, and get the job done. And but also the fact that I said at half time as well, the game is is very much open, not just for us but for them as well. Um, and again, we started the first. Uh, Period of the second half off quite well. Um, a few, uh, quite a, a few corners, a um, bit of pressure, a few shots, and then the penalty, um, which you can see on here, was a real powder puff penalty. Um, it it kind of makes me question as to why Maguire Drew took the penalty um, because he's never taken a penalty for us before. Uh, it normally is Angle who's taken our previous penalty this season and obviously scored. Uh, but he was not on the pitch, of course. So, who does in that fall to? Maybe Josh Wright. You know, he's got a good penalty record in his career. Scored three in one game before. 
then maybe probably you don't have to say Wilkinson because he's your striker. For me, that should should be first and foremost the player that, that steps up and takes a penalty. You know, is your striker. You know, should always be your striker because that's what they're there to do. They're there to score goals, and you know they they take penalties. So I don't know. I don't know why Drew took it, and and hopefully he doesn't take another one this season because. Yeah, it was pretty awful. Um, and then I think that gave Crew a real lift, a real belief. Um, and they got a foothold for the game again. Um, we took our foot off the gas. I think it kind of derailed and demoralised us a lot. Um, but, you know, we made some, some silly subs, I think. You know, as soon as we took Dennis off um, and Harold come on, we lost the pace. Maguire Drew doesn't have any pace. You know, Wilkinson's not exactly lightning quick. Uh, he's he's fairly quick, but Harold obviously is, is not that kind of player, slow target man. Um, so, and obviously we didn't have Brophy in the team, so we lacked a real lot of pace in that final third when you when you need it the most to get at teams. Um, and uh, you know also bringing on Clay for Gorman, which unless Gorman was feeling unfit, which he didn't appear to be, I don't understand it because Clay can't really come on and and impact the game that much, you know, and Gorman was doing all right. But to be fair to Clay, he did come on and he did do a good job, um, although he's been getting a bit of stick recently in the recent weeks, which I think is harsh because I think he's actually done all right since um, we've come into League Two. But, yeah, um, so when they came on, you know, we did it in search of, of hoping to change the game and it didn't really do that at all. It, substitutions, I think, from Ross Embleton have always been a little bit questionable and, and today again... Um, and uh, they obviously end up getting a, a winner in the 90th minute, um, literally as the four officials putting up the, the board for added time. Um, you, you know they've scored after some sloppy defending from us. It's the same same case, same. You know what we're talking about here is the same thing. You know sloppy defending. Um, and for me, it's not just one point dropped, it's three, because there were so many opportunities in that game to, to win it. You know, we literally had the game in the grasp of our hands if we'd have scored that penalty. You know, I'm not saying we'd have guaranteed have gone on and win the game, but we'd have put ourselves in a very, very strong position. Um, it's frustrating, it, but I appear to be saying the same thing every week. It's frustrating, but I can't keep saying that for so long because it's getting boring now. Uh, it feels like we, we, you know, we take a step in the right direction, you know, Exeter on Saturday, coming into today, and then, uh, you know, the Mansfield game, and then we ended up losing um, the following Saturday to Crawley. It's like one step forward, two step backwards every single every single time we have a decent result, and that's not good enough, and that can't happen, that can't stand, because if we continue the way we are, we're going to be looking um, over our shoulder rather than upwards, and that's dangerous. No one wants to be that team. Um, I'll back Embleton until he's no longer our manager. I'm one of his biggest fans, but I'm not saying I'm not saying I want him out or anything like that. But I'm starting to question a little bit now. I'm starting to question whether it was the the right decision and whether it was actually working out. Um, it's frustrating, but it is what it is, isn't it? You have to, you can't, you have, you can't do anything other than accept it and move on. We've got Colchester at the weekend who had. The result of the night tonight, winning uh, Swindon three nil. Who Swindon looked the best team I've seen at Orient, you know, at Brisbane Road in in years. They were absolutely superb. So Colchester must be a decent team to beat in three nil, and obviously they'll be uh, bang on form and, and very up for it um, Saturday. So we've got another tough test, um, but you know, it's, it's we can't we can't draw more games we can't lose more games we've got to, we've got to win Saturday I, I know it's a tough game I know it's away from home but there's no excuses now we've got to go out and we've got to get three points because you know on Saturday come Saturday we wouldn't have won the game in, in a month bang on a month since Mansfield away on the Tuesday night so that's shocking um, but yeah I know it's pretty uh, pretty grim way to end the vlog obviously being left frustrated and disappointed and no one really likes to hear it I can understand people if they if you've not watched up until this point because it's just me having a little bit of a rant on my post-match analysis um, this evening but I feel like it had to be said so you know I say it how it is so there's nothing more to be said uh, other than I'll see you at Colchester on Saturday Just keep the faith up the O's